Pierre Marie Alexis Millardet was a botanist at the University of Bordeaux who in the 1860s made an observation that made him the toast of wine producers. Grapevines are susceptible to attack by a fungus. It's called the downy mildew fungus. And when infected, the vines do not produce grapes. This fungus frolics in wet weather and first shows up as a downy patch on the bottom of a leaf. If rain persists, it becomes established and can destroy the crop and even carry over into the next season. Vintners at the time had another problem. Thieves were stealing grapes that grew on the roadside, so they had taken to spraying these with a mix of copper sulfate and lime, and this left a visible and bitter-tasting residue. Millardet noted that these vines were not attacked by the fungus and recommended that vines be sprayed with what came to be called the Bordeaux mixture, and uh, that would stop the uh, fungus, and this thing had to be sprayed before the vines began to produce grapes. It worked. Bordeaux mixture became the first commonly used fungicide. One problem was solved, but another one appeared. And that's not an unusual phenomenon in science. Copper ions, the active ingredient that interferes with an enzyme the fungus needs to grow, built up in the soil. From here, copper can leach into water and can be toxic to fish and livestock. It also kills worms. Today, it has mostly been replaced by other fungicides, such as chlorothalonil and mancosep on grapevines, but it is still used on uh, fruit trees, potatoes, some vegetables, and flowers. It is approved for such uses by Canada's Pest Management Regulatory Agency. Because it is made from naturally occurring minerals, it can be used in organic agriculture. This in spite of the fact that toy companies that make chemistry sets will not include copper sulfate because they judge it to be too dangerous. Growing beautiful blue crystals of copper sulfate used to be a common science activity for students, but now if they want to pursue this activity, they have to purchase the copper sulfate in a health food store where it can legally be sold as an organic fungicide. Copper sulfate has another application. Algae often invade swimming pools and make for greenish cloudy water. A very small amount of copper sulfate added to the water improves the clarity and makes the pool more inviting. There's another benefit. The use of copper sulfate will cut down on the amount of chlorine or bromine used to disinfect the pool. And that for today is our Cup of Joe.